What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. So let me ask you a question. What if you've been doing a lot of barbell curls, maybe even concentration curls, dips, or tricep extensions, and you're still not seeing the arm gains that you want? it might be time to switch things up. And not just for the sake of change, but more importantly because our muscles can sometimes respond a lot better to new challenges and different exercises that we never thought they could. I'm gonna give you eight arm exercises here to try if you've never tried them before that can do just that. I'm gonna give you four body weight versions and four weighted versions to give you plenty of options to start to spark those arm gains all over again. Now let's start with the weighted versions. Now I'm gonna give you two curls and two push down variations. But let's start with the curl. This is called an incline eccentric curl. Now I am a big fan of eccentric muscle contraction when it comes to trying to build new muscle. We a lot of times skip this part. In this exercise you cannot though however because it's the focus of what we're doing. You're going to use a bench here set at an incline angle. Perform your curl as you sit up. We know that it's easier to do a seated curl than it is going to be an incline curl because our biceps have to go through less of an excursion here to get into the final contracted position. However, at that point, you're going to sit back and let the eccentric go through that longer excursion so you elongate the time that your muscles are under eccentric tension. That is going to help you to spark all new gains if you haven't felt this before by taking advantage of the change in angle of the bench. Next, let's go over to the triceps and we're talking about our first pushdown variation. And this is a rowing pushdown. You might be thinking, why do I want to row if I'm trying to work my triceps? Because it's what the row does to put extra tension on the triceps. So I step far away from the machine to allow my arms to start in front of my body that I can then row until my elbows are at the, the level of my chest. From here I want to push down. And you can see what I have to do is I have to extend through the spine in order to do that. I have to get my arms back behind my body. So I get a good contraction of the long head of the triceps. But also because of the angle here, the cable is actually perpendicular to my forearms which we know will provide a peak contraction and tension in the contracted position which makes this even more difficult. But remember guys, difficult is usually a good thing when it comes to building muscle. So try the rowing pushdown and I promise you you'll feel the difference immediately, especially if all of your pushdowns have been of the standard variety right up underneath the rope and pushing straight down. Now let's flip back over to the biceps again and this time it's the cable elevator curls. And here we're implementing the biceps master tip where we talked about before bending the wrist back when you perform a curl. Why? Because we want to minimize the contribution of the forearm as we pull up on the weight, right? We know that the forearms want to get involved, but we don't want that to happen. So what we'll do is we'll keep our hands flat and per perpendicular to the sky. Throughout the entire exercise, you can see as I lift up, I'm basically holding two plates in my hands, I'm like a waiter serving up two plates. You don't want to let them tilt. That's having the effect of minimizing the forearms, but it's also allowing as we raise the arm up, shoulder flexion. And shoulder flexion is a key component of a complete bicep contraction. We want to have a supinated position, we want to have elbows flexed, and we want to have those shoulders flexed at the very top of the range of motion. The elevator curl will do all three in one shot. And for our final weighted exercise option here is back to the triceps and the push downs again, but this time we do a rotational push down. And this is one I love so much we actually incorporate it into our AthleanX program from the very beginning. And that is the rotational pushdown is a much more athletic version of a pushdown. We realize that just going straight up and down is not the best we can do if we're trying to be a little bit more explosive and athletic throughout our entire body. And because the pushdown is a ground based movement, we can allow ourselves to become more powerful and explosive with it. Instead of just going up and down, let's start getting some rotation into this and start driving and pivoting off of the foot that then allows us to get our arms and our core working together. Now, we're not compromising the tricep development at all. As a matter of fact, we're enhancing it. Because you can see that in order to rotate, one of my arms, the lead arm, the direction I'm rotating in will go back behind my body. It will cross midline. And we've talked about before the ability to cross midline and get behind your body is going to fully contract the long head of the tricep. That's something that we tend to ignore, especially if we're only doing pushdowns out in front of our body. Guys, don't hesitate to give this one a try and don't be surprised if you have to add some more weight to that stack as you got more muscles working together here. It's going to allow you to start pushing some heavier weights and getting better overall gains for those triceps in the long run.
And now because I know that everybody doesn't work out in the gym, I want to give you four bodyweight options no less effective than the four weighted options to also give you some ways to spark new arm gains. And it starts right here with a variation of an exercise that I have given you before called the inverted chin curl. This is one of my favorite ways to train the biceps here because we do get all the same elements we talked about before with the elbows and arms flexed in front of our body. But we can do better than this. And we can do better with the pendulum inverted curl. And with the pendulum inverted curl, look at the action here of our body. What we're doing is we're allowing our body to swing, but all the initiation of the curl is happening from the biceps. As we come forward, we get all the way up to the top. You can see by ducking my head under, I've created more flexion at the shoulder, so I've got a stronger contraction. And to ensure that I got up here with my muscles and not just by momentum, I demand that you hold the contraction here for a split second before going back down again. And of course, you don't need to have a straight bar to do this exercise. You can take a broomstick over the back of two pieces of furniture. Whatever you would do a traditional inverted row on will work for this one just fine as well. Okay, next up, I actually have a confession to make about this exercise, and that is if you've done my Athlean Zero program, our bodyweight only program, then you've already done this exercise. But if you have not, then this is definitely going to be new to you, and it's the pounding tricep trunk lift. Now, what you're doing is you get on your back here, and you're going to use your hands from across your stomach and then pound them out into the floor. And when you do, you want to push through your hands by extending your elbows and using all the work of the triceps. And it is using a lot of the same concept of the rowing pushdown, and that's letting your back and your triceps work together. Knowing again that the long head of the triceps will extend the arm back behind your body and therefore work in concert with the other muscles of your back, we're allowing ourselves to do this. But we never really had a bodyweight option until now. And this is definitely an intense exercise because you can manipulate how hard it is depending upon how high your butt is or is not off the ground. If you keep it on the ground, that is your easier version. If you lift it off the ground, then it becomes even harder. Regardless of where your ability level is though, the exercise and what it provides your triceps is there to give you a new stimulus for growth. And finally, we have our last two exercises here that you're going to be able to use nothing but your own surroundings. In this case, a wall, and in the next case, a doorway. Now, as far as the wall goes, we can work our triceps really well here, especially the lateral head of the triceps with our wide elbow wall push-ups. And what you do is you face the wall and you stack your hands one on top of the next. At an angle that you can handle, the, the taller and steeper that your body is to the wall, the easier the exercise will be. I'm at the angle that I can handle here and this is even a challenge for me. What I do is I lower myself down nice and slow until my forearms are completely flat against the wall. From here, I'm pushing out into my hands, extending my elbows, and really working the triceps until I get all the way back out straight armed again. And I go back and I repeat. Again, it looks pretty damn easy, but it's not. So angle your body appropriately and be prepared for a pretty intense challenge. And finally, the craziest of them all, but I promise you one that actually works, and we're using a doorway to perform our bicep curls. Now trust me, we are. If you look at this, you're going to say to yourself, wow, that looks pretty goofy. But remember, you have the option of doing this at home because you are using just a doorway. If you're in the gym, you can go back to doing your regular dumbbell curls. However, here I will tell you, don't underestimate how effective this can be. What you want to do is you want to step your feet around the door frame as I'm showing you here. Okay, then lean your body away. You want to establish as far of a lean as you can, dictated again by the length of your arm and how close your feet are able to be positioned next to the wall. Now from here, you initiate a curl by pulling your whole body in. And yes, as you come up, rotate your body in as well. You're going to get some crossover action here, so your chest will work as well. But when you get to the very, very top, you hold, and you have a really intense peak contraction of your bicep. We're obviously handling a portion of your body weight here. So this becomes a difficult exercise for some people, depending upon how heavy they are. But this is a great option when you realize that there are not really a lot of ways to work your body, especially if you don't have a pull-up bar, if you're training at home. This is one way that will do that, and especially if it's something you've never tried before, it gives you a new option. Remember guys, the staple exercises have become staple exercises because they've allowed a lot of people to see success with them. But what if your results have stopped coming using them? It's time to look for other options. I just gave you eight more to do just that. And if you're looking for unlimited options on how to build your body by putting the science back in strength, all of our programs do that. They're all available over here at athletenext.com. If you haven't already, guys, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe link here and turning on your notifications. And of course, you want to catch our latest video, you can do that right up here too. All right, guys, we'll be back here again soon. See ya.